when a body is at a higher temperature than surrounding then it emits energy it radiates out energy that is emittance the energy radiated per unit area per second is known as emittance and that emittance for any particular lambda or any particular wavelength now we find that it is radiating out the radiation of many type of lambdas combination of lambda not only one wavelength but many wavelengths now there are so many waves of different wavelength the energy total energy is distributed in all these wavelengths and then is the difference some wavelength have got more portion of the energy others have less portion of the energy so we make a graph this temperature of the black body is 1100 it is radiating out so many wavelengths every wavelength has energy we make a graph higher point is the higher energy this is lambda so this radiation of this particular lambda all the radiations are coming from black body we take radiation of a particular lambda and we find so much of energy this lambda is having so much of energy more energy this lambda has got maximum energy this lambda has got less energy so different type of waves of different lambda has got different portion of energy there is one particular lambda which has got maximum energy okay we noted it now same black body we raise the temperature earlier the temperature was 1100 kelvin now we make it 1200 kelvin again we make the graph for this much lambda this is the energy this much lambda this is the energy for this lambda this is the energy for this lambda this is the energy now what we find the lambda which is carrying maximum energy is this one while at 1100 k this was the lambda lambda value which was having maximum energy but when we raise the temperature to 1200 we find that it is this lambda which has got higher energy smaller lambda okay now again we heat that body to 1450 again we check which lambda has got how much energy and we find the maximum energy are with this particular lambda again less now this lambda has got maximum energy other lambdas have got less energy again we raise the temperature and now we find this lambda decrease and this lower value of lambda now has a higher energy so this lambda so much energy 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 so we see that energy is distributed in the radiation of different wavelengths this is energy distribution so what is energy distribution when there is a emittance of energy the energy is distributed into various wavelengths we will write this the principle of energy distribution this is principle of energy distribution perfectly black body radiate energy in the waves of different wavelengths the total energy is distributed unequally in different wavelengths this is distribution of energy and any one wavelength carry maximum energy so this is distribution now seeing to this distribution wiens made a law that is known as wiens law he says that this peak is being displaced how with the rise of temperature so he made a law explaining displacement of the peak peak represent what peak represents the wavelength which has got maximum energy like this here now 
because this deals with the displacement of the peak. It is known as Wien's displacement law. So what is getting displaced? Peak. What is represented by the peak? A particular wavelength. What is speciality of that wavelength? It carries maximum energy compared to all other wavelengths in that. So this is Wien's displacement law. And what is that law? The law says that the lambda which is carrying maximum energy, it goes on decreasing if the temperature is rising. If the temperature is rising, then the peak is getting displaced towards lower lambda. Here, higher lambda, lower lambda, lower lambda, lower lambda. So, peak is getting displaced towards lower lambda if the temperature is rising. So, temperature and lambda of maximum energy, they are opposite to each other. You increase the temperature, lambda will decrease. This side, lambda decrease and this side, lambda increase. So, if lambda decrease, lambda decrease, which lambda? Lambda of the maximum energy. If it is decreasing, what is happening to temperature? It is increasing. So, he made the law that lambda of maximum energy is proportionate to, inversely proportionate to temperature. This is Wien's law. And if we make it equal, then lambda of maximum energy is equal to a constant divided by T. This constant, as it appears, is known as Wien's constant. B is Wien's constant and what will be lambda into temperature. So it has got a particular value and that value uh, is, let us uh, find out, that value is B is equal to 2.898 into 10 to the power minus 3. And you can find out its units. This will be meter and this is Kelvin. Meter Kelvin. This is value of Wien's constant. So this is Wien's displacement law. Okay. In the basis of this, we can understand a phenomena which is greenhouse effect. So the next lecture we will see greenhouse effect. Thank you.